Hey, this is Anne, and you're listening to 91.1 The Avenue. This is The Avenue's coverage of Mile of Music Festival, and we are excited to be with Mile of Music veteran and all-around great guy, Kyle Megna. Hello. Hey. Thanks for having me on again. How you doing? Not bad. Not bad at all. It's our chance for um, and maybe about the annual check-in with you, uh, and happy to be back at the Mile. Yeah, for sure. I mean, for a while we didn't know if it was going to happen, and it's happening. So Crazy year. Lots of, I mean, it's the most anticipated week of the year anyway, and um, fans are bringing, and musicians too, I imagine, bringing maybe two years of pent-up anticipation to the mile this year. Yeah, yeah, it feels good to start playing again for sure, and new material as well, so to get stuff out there is just uh, pretty important for you us. Have a new, you have a new album coming out? That's right, we'll play some songs uh, live for you at the festival. So Great, and so you'll be able to see Kyle a couple of different ways at Mile of Music 8. Um, you're bringing the full monsoon band, and that's always a lot of fun, plus... Uh, yeah, the brass man- monsoons. Tell yeah. us about that. Um, so it's pretty much so the uh, the regular band. We're a seven piece band, and um, we already have a trumpet player and a sax player, Kurt Scheip and Ross Catterton. Um, but then we add seven more uh, horn players. Um, it's an array of uh, trumpets and different saxophones. Um, you know, like a baritone, like or a soprano. Whatever it may be, uh, Kurt, he kind of schedules all the, the trumpet players and gets everybody together. So there'll be 14 of us uh, on the stage at once playing some of the same songs. It's a lot more powerful. Um, I'm lucky enough to have experienced the brass monsoons a couple of times. Um, you don't want to miss it. The monsoons already have a lot of energy live and are super fun to see, but it cranks it up, uh, you know, two or three notches still. So it'll be a must-see show, I think, and that's... Uh, you're going to be down at Jones Park. That's right. Um, yeah, we'll be there Friday, uh, 5.55 p.m. in Jones Park. Full brass monsoon, all 14 of us. Yeah, so um, one of our local favorites. And I was saying how there's always a struggle between do I want to go see my tried and true favorites, but there are all these new bands to check out. And then I decided that... Um, even people that you've seen a bunch of times, if you haven't ever seen them play at Mile, it's a whole different vibe and energy because I, I assume the atmosphere and the crowds just lift up a band. Can you talk about that at all? Yeah, for sure. Well, especially um, the production, like the sound crews out there, that always helps. That allows bands to uh, let loose and sound like they actually should sound like on an album because you got sound professionals working and they do a fantastic job. So a combination of that and then uh, people coming out to the shows, uh, energy, is, it's, 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 it's very real. It's very real, and it definitely affects music and how it's played and performed. And generally, the, the shows are a lot better at Mile because it's all there. It's a storm of, of just greatness <laughs> <laughs> all around. It's, uh, it, you could call it a monsoon, uh, perhaps. There, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, just guessing. So... Yeah. And then fans can see you in uh, an entirely different vibe, uh, playing solo, um, or I guess as a duo with Dave LeBlanc. Yeah, Dave LeBlanc, yeah. So Dave and I have been playing music together for years. I think I met him in like 2004, and we've been playing consistently. Hey, this is Anne, and you're listening to 91.1 The Avenue. This is The Avenue's coverage of Mile of Music Festival, and we are excited to be with Mile of Music veteran and all-around great guy. Kyle Magna. So, um, you've been, how many miles have you done? Done them all. Uh, how many miles are there right now? I can't well, this remember. is eight. This is eight. So Over eight. nine years. You've yeah. done every one of them. Yeah. All right on. Yeah. It's, I remember the first one, we, I mean, we didn't know what it was going to be or how it was right. going to turn out. And, you know, it was one of our favorite things we played all year long. So, um, you know, going into it like, oh, I don't know what this is going to be at all. Right. I mean, to look at it today, um, pretty crazy it is pretty crazy we've all become really accustomed to it but uh, i remind myself this is not something many people get to experience you know just take it all in yeah we're, we are so grateful to live in this community because you're right festivals like this i mean you usually have to travel for and the fact that it's a very welcoming city too and it pretty much has everything a big city has to offer 
but now you get to see bands from all over the country and local acts as well. And yeah, it's we're very lucky to have this here. So. We're really lucky. It's yeah. the it's the best week of the year for music fans for sure. Any favorite memories or anything that stands out through your mile experience? Yeah, yeah. I always go back to this one and. Um, the, we, we had a generator at a stage, um, an outdoor stage, and it went out. And we had people waiting for us to go on, and it was the full band. We're ready to play. We're all amped up. And unfortunately, it didn't work out. So we're like, uh, I guess you can catch us you know, tomorrow or something. Um, but the band wanted to play, so we decided to take our gear. We knew that uh, the Paper Valley, or the Red Line Paper Valley Hotel, had uh, singing in the shower right outside of of it pretty much close to the street so we took the full full band we went over there and we just started doing a pop-up show we just said hey if you want to we told a few people but we just started playing and pretty soon you couldn't walk on the sidewalk uh, there were a lot of monsoons crammed into that little shower <laughs> surround and pretty soon it just got wilder and wilder and it, it was its own accidental performance that turned out to be really cool yeah, it was a true pop-up, and that's, you know, those are the memories that make you think, like, oh, wow, this is kind of why I play music, because it's just, that energy, we did it because we wanted to do it. We didn't have to do it, we just wanted to play music, you know, and then people appreciated that, and the fact that it was so spontaneous, that people were just walking by to go to a different show, and they're like, oh, something's going on here, let's check it out. And then before you know it, there's people clapping along towards the end of the set we played, I remember that, that was a lot of fun, so it was a, uh, an amazing energy that was... Uh, that was there at that time. You're listening to 91.1 The Avenue. This is Ann Koenig, and this is The Avenue's Mile of Music coverage. I'm here with Kyle Magna, and he is playing The Mile as a duo with Dave LeBlanc. He's also playing with his full band, The Monsoons. Those are a must-see, as well as Enhanced Monsoons, uh, Brass Monsoons. So he's going to be a 14-piece band playing in Jones Park. That's uh, definitely on a, on my hit list to see. So, Kyle, you're going to play something for us. Tell us what you're going to play. Yeah, this is a, a song that 91.1 has been playing, too. Um, called Taking You Back. It's been a long time coming and I finally saw your face In the depths of your darkness Yeah, you hold on to their place When you said you wanted out Of this world that you once loved We ate the truth, which were your words Then we tried to figure you out Now I'm taking you back to the place where you first started and I'm taking you back To the place where you belong Taking you back To the place where you first started and I'm taking you back To the place where you belong As I watch you sleep In this disheveled gas bed Shaking off all the poison from the local pub we were in. I think of brighter days, we would laugh at all life's pain. The simple truth that strikes a chord, yeah, the mystery of this game. Now I'm taking you back to the place where you first started, and I'm taking you back. To the place where you belong, it's taking you back. Yeah. To the place where you first started, now taking you back. Yeah. To the place where you belong. We were only kids, playing every bar that we could. Thinking about the future, how we were misunderstood. And never thought that we would see the light of yesterday. 
We took the chords and melody We made the finest holiday Now I'm taking you back To the place where you first started Now taking you back To the place where you belong You're taking you back To the place where you first started Now taking you back to the place where you belong To the place where you belong To the place where you belong Thanks so much, Kyle. Yeah, thanks for having me. As always, appreciate it. Yeah, you bet. So, um, again, check out Kyle Magna with Dave LeBlanc. Or Kyle Magna and the Monsoons and the Brass Monsoons at Mile of Music 8 going on all week in downtown Appleton, And this is our coverage of Mile of Music. Our Mile of Music coverage is made possible with support from Nicolay Bank. Nicolay Bank is a supporting partner of The Avenue.